Okay guys, in this tutorial uh, I will show you a quick tip uh, by how to fix this error. So um, I try to clone a, a, a project um, from a repository. It's a Laravel project, but it's the same if you uh, try to install a new uh, application, yeah, or Laravel application. So I got the error, no application encryption key has been specified. So this is a very easy fix. Um, first of all, um, if I uh, open the, the project in a editor, code editor, in my case is a Visual Studio Code, um, first of all I will, will need to check the version uh, of PHP, so you need to have the PHP 7 if you don't have it um, and you need to change that, just um, um, I will leave a link in, in the description and I will show you, I got a video showing how to do that in Windows 10 uh, using WAMP server. So after you do that, uh, the next step is uh, running the Composer install. Okay, uh, and this uh, Composer install will, in, uh, will install every uh, uh, every dependency which is in the Composer.json file. Okay, and uh, another thing we have to do is check we have the .env file the installation uh, the fresh installation is coming with with dot env dot example file but you just need to rename that or copy and uh, um, paste again and delete the extension which is the dot example extension yeah uh, so just delete that um, and uh, keep the dot env file which you need to have um, okay so now if i refresh the project um, it, uh, as you can see, um, this is uh, uh, the error is coming. Yeah. After I've done all those those steps, I need to run a command to generate that key. So if I go in the console here, I will have to type uh, PHP artisan and then k colon generate. So this will generate that key which is asking for um, in some cases the installation so as you can see the application uh, case set uh, success successfully so it's done now now uh, this is done sometimes you get a button you know when you have the installation at the beginning you, you uh, the, the application is providing a button you just click the button and this will generate it by this button but in this case we, ne we need to do it through the command line okay so now if we refresh the uh, project, uh, I got uh, another error which uh, is a uh, scheme because I need to specify the database um, I'm using, which in this case I don't have any database for this project because I just clone it. So this is Laravel database, which is not this it doesn't exist. So I just need to create that database and I will come back. Um, so now I have created the database and now I have to just copy that name of the database and paste it, pa paste it here. So this is the name of my database. So you put your name uh, of your database uh, if you have to do that. But um, in my case, I need to do that. So now if I refresh the page, I, sh I will still get an error because I need to run the, um, another command in the command shell, uh, which is... Uh, running the migration so laravel has the migration files which create the tables yeah because this is a project as I, as I mentioned in the beginning this is a project which is already created and is just cloned from a repository so it need, needs uh, extra tables okay so uh, i just need to do uh, run that command to uh, um, create those tables so here if i uh, run the command php artisan migrate this what this will do, uh, do is uh, run all the migration which are in this folder so let's run this command and um, once i'm running this command this will as i said this will create the tables which i need so the tables are created now if i go to the browser and refresh this um, open this database again so as you can see now i got the tables and um, if I refresh the project now in the browser, now the project is working correctly. So this is how you can fix this error. So I hope this helps you if you got this error. And um, see you in the next one.
If you like this video, please give a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.